do you think there's a possibility that we might see more bat at some point, maybe a little bit older, further on along? Oh, that's such a great question. I, in some ways, that's sort of a, this is again, you know, publishing is a business as well as is an art and a craft. Um, well, publishing is business, writing is the art and the craft. Um, the thing about a series is that first books in series always sell the best, right? Any series ever, the first book will sell better than the second book because not everyone who reads the first book reads the second book. And so series, as my editor has said, is a game of diminishing returns uh, because each book will sell fewer copies than its predecessor. And the first book will always sell the best. So from a business perspective, how could I entice my publisher to want to publish more bad books is an interesting question. But from a, from a character perspective and an art perspective, what would, I, I'm at the moment, I don't, I would have to see another three book arc for Bat because my brain is very, um, it sort of attaches itself to structures. And Bat to me is a three book arc. And so I would not want to write a fourth Bat book because it would not, it would not fit it in the arc. It would be, I have the arc and then I have this thing. So I would, I would, I would need to make another arc. So I would need another three books, I think. And right now I don't have another, like I'm very happy the way I have left Bat and Thor and, you know, in the kitchen um, where they started. If you read the beginning of book one, they're in the kitchen, uh, but it's just Bat and Jamie and there is disharmony. And if you look at the end of the third Bat book, uh, there's Bat surrounded by this circle, um, this growing circle of support um, in a place of harmony. So I feel very satisfied with the work I've done on that series. I love that very much. So I'd love to write more bat books, but I would only do it if I felt I was compelled by another story that I had to follow. Um, I'm sure I could probably sell if people would buy the fourth bat book, but I wouldn't feel like, again, I think I would be privileging business over art if I didn't feel that there was another arc that I needed to explore with that. Could we maybe have a cameo in Just Harriet 3 with a vengeance? Or if, uh, <laughs> if maybe they can't, maybe could you ever see yourself doing a young adult or even an adult version of Bat, where some readers would come to it for the first time and they wouldn't even know that there was an original trilogy and they're just come encountering an all-new story that happens to feature some of the same characters? I like never that? thought about that. I'll have to think about it. Maybe. Um, I sure love that character, Bat. I mean, so much of Bat is... Bat is based, you know, I think all my characters are based a third on me, at least. Maybe Bat's a little more like 45%. A third, people I have seen, known, or loved. And a third, I have no idea. I think I made it up. Um, but maybe I didn't. You never really know. So, uh, you know, that third, a third, a third. Um, and that's certainly true of Harriet as well. It's just different thirds that come in. And that's how I make different characters, I guess, is that a different third of me goes in versus the different people that I've met or loved versus different things I think I've made up. Um, so, I mean, I would, I, I, I would, I'd never say never, but I don't have any plans to write another Bat book or another book with Bat as the main character at this point. I'm going to hope that I've planted a seed and that not now, not not tell maybe two Harriets from now, yeah. but eventually we we'll yeah. see. But I am curious, could you see Bat in a non-middle grade uh, context or is he always gonna be in the third, fourth grade, somewhere in that range? That's a great question. I don't know, I don't usually, to me the book exists as what it is. I don't spend a lot of time imagining my characters forward in time. Um, one exception to that is Damsel. I. I don't think about Ama, the main character. I'm very clear about what happens to her and where she goes, but I'm very curious about, and this, I'm sure this must speak to my siblings. Remember how I talked about leaving my siblings behind? I'm very curious about the, um, the castle and the, the, the characters that are left behind after Ama disappears and, and frees herself. So that, that is interesting. That one I do spend some time sort of, I wonder what's going on with those characters now in a way that usually when I'm finished with a book, to me, the book is the thing, and now I'm interested in this other thing. So, it sounds to me like we're getting that book eventually. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> we'll I am curious about about what happened back at the at the castle. Um, I have ideas. 